stage four, EBSA Cape Epic 2019. Time trial, uh, short and sweet, 43 kilometers, 1,000 meters ascent. It's gonna be a fast one. So last year, the 2018 Absa Cape Epic was a pretty uh, sad moment for me. Very excited, trained hard. Months of training, unfortunately, I suffered some hydration issues after stage one and was withdrawn because of kidney failure. Damage and issues with the kidneys are high risk in doing multi-stage events. And Nate, for example, was admitted to hospital in the middle of last year's event with some serious kidney issues. His symptoms were really bad, his clinical signs were bad, he needed aggressive intravenous treatment. He spent a few days in hospital and made a full recovery. Going to be a good one? He's now well aware of how to do his hydration. Uh, the most critical factor is be prepared and certainly know your body before you start an event like this. We're all infatuated with training, with hours on the bike. This is fun! <laughs> but your hydration and nutrition are equally important, if not more so. By mm. Not only for survival and to protect yourself, but also to be at your peak performance during the event and also your recovery in between stages. So in fact, the old adage is, you take for today to prepare for tomorrow. Good ride, went out, we rode quite hard, legs took a bit of time to warm up. But all in all, we came over the line home and uh, all in one piece, ready for tomorrow.